Greetings. My name is Angie Piccioni. I'm the Executive Director of the Colorado Department of Higher Education, and I'm coming to you now because it is FAFSA Awareness and Completion Week. FAFSA, what is it? FAFSA is the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. It is the investment that the government makes in our high school students who want to go on to pursue a certificate program, a associate's degree, or a bachelor's degree. Anything that you wanna do academically after high school, FAFSA can be your key to paying for it. FAFSA, free. Number one, you don't have to, you don't, it, there's no cost to apply. It's a free application. Ah, second word, application. You must apply in order to receive the dollars. So the federal government has millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars for all high school students across the country that they are willing to invest in you. However, you must apply and the application is free. Free application for federal student aid. Federal means that's the federal government. Like I said, they've set aside money to invest in young people like you. So please apply for your federal investment dollars. Student, which means you must continue on. You cannot get it if you are not applying to a something post-secondary certificate program that's eligible, a two-year associates at the community college or four-year uh, bachelor's degree at one of our colleges or universities. So you must be a student in order to receive this federal investment. And lastly, aid. Aid, of course, means help. And nowadays, everybody needs a little help to pay for their post-secondary option. Um, and the amount of money, the maximum amount that you can get from the federal uh, government for its investment in your education is roughly $6,295, $6, I believe, is the maximum right now. And so that money, that $6,6200, dollars that will, that will pay for most of our certificate programs across the state. It will pay for, for sure, the tuition at every one of our community colleges um, and our local district schools as well. And it will go a long way to paying for your bachelor's degree, that one year uh, of your bachelor's degree program. Of course, you can apply every year. And if you qualify, you can receive that investment every year. So it goes a long way to making college affordable. Yes, it does require some of your parent or guardian financial um, information. And some people don't like to divulge that information. But the FAFSA is not just for the federal aid. It's also used by many institutions and even scholarship programs to determine if they want to give you additional dollars to help pay for your post-secondary option. There are four main buckets of aid to help you get through your choice after high school. One is any associations or affiliations that you have. So if you are Catholic and maybe you belong to the Knights of Columbus, there's probably a scholarship that they give you. It might not be a lot, it could be $500, $1,000, but every single bit counts. So apply for anything that you, maybe there's a scholarship for redheads. Maybe there's a scholarship for um, young people who might have cystic fibrosis. Find your scholarship affiliation and apply for their scholarships that they offer. So affiliation or association is one. Secondly, the institution to which you are going to do your academic work after high school. So they will have some financial aid that they make available to their students as well. Affiliation or association, the institution, the state. The state legislature puts aside $200 million for student financial aid, for need-based financial aid. You need to complete the FAFSA in order to access those dollars from the state. So that's why the FAFSA is very important to complete. And lastly, of course, FAFSA, the federal government, they give what's called a Pell Grant, and they give that to students who qualify. So you wanna find out if you qualify, you have to apply. It's an investment that the federal government makes in you. This is not a loan that you have to pay back. This is a grant that the federal government says, we are going to help you get that credential. So please, this is FAFSA Awareness, FAFSA Completion Week. Colorado is on the lower end of students completing. We leave between 30 and $50 million on the table every year because our students are not applying. So we wanna have this campaign to say, please 
get the dollars from the federal government that they want to invest in you. All you have to do is apply and see what you're worth. Well, not really. See what you qualify for. You're worth a whole lot more. So make your choice about what you're going to do after high school and let the government help you pay for it. Here we go.